Hey everyone, today I want to talk about the current implementation of the service assignments that DICE is currently working on on the community test environment. This system aims to create a better experience for new players that have since joined this franchise. As many of us know from personal experience, Battlefield has always been a game that is comprised of many different aspects all combined into a singular package. The hope of the system is to act as a guiding beacon for newer players to start and learn the basic mechanics and functionality the title offers. Furthermore, for more experienced players of the series, this will ensure that veterans are still working towards rewards even after all the matches they have completed thus far. In addition, many players will be happy to know that the game will track all progression automatically and the need for a piece of paper and a pencil will not be required this time around. With that all being said, the system initially starts with five sections that all encompass five unique challenges. The initial challenges start with relative ease and slowly develop into more specific types of combat the player needs to deploy. Moreover, once the challenges have been completed, the player is rewarded with experience into a specific hit that is defined or a large sum of experience to the player's in-game level. Unfortunately, we do not know if the experience to once level can be stacked with double experience boost or community-wide experience events. Continuing onward, while the starting challenges within these sections are tasks that players do on a consistent basis without hesitation, the latter sections start to introduce habits that Battlefield players tend to disapprove of. The latter challenges and the second section require the player to complete five of the six challenges to unlock a reward. While many of the challenges in these sections are challenging, a few stand above the others and demand the player to actively participate in forms that may greatly hinder the team's ability to achieve success. An example of this would be destroy 25 armored vehicles with limpet mines. While this challenge stresses the importance of destroying vehicles, the rate of these vehicles on the battlefield are far rarer than heavy vehicles or infantry. Furthermore, many of these challenges are well prepared and push players to work with their squads or other players, but a few will actively require players to disobey the core idea of the battlefield franchise. The Battlefield franchise has always been known as a competitive environment that places the importance on teamwork over fancy kills or selfish personal desires. The reward system this time around grants players with unique specializations that actively provide them with an advantage over players that have not selected that item or have not yet unlocked that specialization. More information about how the specialization system works can be found in the video description. Currently, the community seems content with this announcement since it provides players with a progression system which has been a topic of discussion since Battlefield 1's launch. While many players would have preferred this system to arrive when the title had initially launched, the continued efforts to improve this lacking area of Battlefield 1 does not go unnoticed. The development team strives to reunite players with the title and attempts to showcase the changes the title has received over the months. Lastly, while these sections and challenges are subject to change via the community's feedback, I will leave the form post in the description for your viewing pleasure. If you happen to notice a challenge that seems to promote a playstyle that defies the core idea of the Battlefield franchise, I would highly recommend that you share your dissatisfaction with the community on the form post. Regardless, this is all the information I have for you on the current implementation of the service assignments coming to Battlefield 1 alongside the upcoming expansion known as In the Name of the Tsar. Until next time, this has been NMO, and I'm going to be signing off, guys. Peace!